What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Tsukimichi, and if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Tsukimichi episode 12, season finale. Yon, the last episode, Makoto was summoned by the Biatch goddess, and he is confronted by two enemies. One is like a small boy, but he looks like he's related to magic and such. You know, he has that pop up color cape, you know, that a lot of magic users have. And this warrior chick that I totally think is the dragon slayer that we saw on episode two, where they're talking about the strongest adventure and stuff. Well, maybe the strongest in that era, but anyways, I totally think it's her. Others disagree. We're going to find out. Also, she cut off his fingers, yo! They even think he's a demi-human. Oh no, he can't contact the others! Can he heal himself with that? Human based communities. <laughs> Sided with the humans. I mean, sided with the demons instead of humans. Well, I always get frustrated in scenes like these when there's like a misunderstanding. The Makoto was summoned to a battlefield of humans versus demons. I think Makoto would just let the demon army go. By time and space. Dang! I wonder why she's with the demons. Because we know she's a human. But why is she with them? What happened? What's the story? I think the goddess screwed her over. What a troublesome ability. <laughs> Oh, snap! Makoto, just release all your power! Just release it all! Take off all the restrictions! <laughs> Basic abilities are freakish. He is not receiving the goddess's protection. He's not. He has no protection from her. It's all him. Mm, you guys go find out that there is no protection. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Red one. He <laughs> called him Red one. Damn, the guys just put him in a bad situation all because she summoned him. Ugh, that biatch. I bet she was going to use Makoto like a meat shield. Dragon Slayer! <laughs> Mitsurugi. Uh huh. Mm hmm. It's not a lie, he is a merchant. <laughs> Wait. We call both of them ordinary adventures, but can't the guy understand Makoto? Is Lancer a dragon? Yeah, take off the restrictions! Take off the restrictions! Show the- Go Super Saiyan, yo! Yeah! Wreck them! Uh-huh, you saw that surprise look on her face? <laughs> you messed with the wrong one. Ooh. Strike true. Uh-huh. Panic, guys. Panic. Oh, dang. She tries to take it full on. She tried to bat it away. I'm impressed. Okay. Has he been cursed by the goddess? Yes, he was! He was the father! <laughs> it's about time you guys realized it. Oh, is his element water? Enjoy freezing together. <laughs> it reacted again. Did she call him an it? Whoa, what's he gonna do? Dang! Did he just break that weapon? That weapon part of Lancer? Yep, dwarven weapons is incredible. <laughs> I did not expect that suffocation by boobies. Oh dang, you saw that? What was that teleportation? Ooh, this is like a last resort attack, huh? <laughs> he says this again because he's being dropped from the air. <laughs> no! Oh, oh. This is a thank you for toying with me. Oh! 
Yo! He is inadvertently helping the goddess. Ugh, frustrating. But this looks amazing. I hope both demons and humans get caught in this. Especially the humans. Boing! It's like he destroyed to replenish that land. <laughs> You lost your leg, huh? You know, Makoto did say y'all did not have to fight. He, 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 he's in a bed with those two. <laughs> he's like, good morning. <laughs> Battle for Fort Stella. Goddess's third disciple. Is Makoto really the third disciple? Oh, <gasps> she called him a brat. That brat isn't dead. He was a dragon, wasn't he? He was a dragon. Mm hmm, it's that stupid, stupid, stupid goddess's fault. They should, like, set up an anti goddess thing on him. Mm-hmm. Goddess will interfere. Keep you and Mio hidden from her? <laughs> he called him his trump cards. Mm hmm he thinks of you that way. Who, who, who are you going to introduce? Your, uh... <gasps> oh! The fragment? He looks a little different. Oh, this one scores his ring. It's like, it's like they both made a fragment together. Oh, he gave her a name. He didn't give the other fragment a name, right? She's a product of our mana. Practically no, no. our child. <laughs> oh. oh, the training of the ogres. 
boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> He's excited about getting stronger. <laughs> Eat these yellow things and kill myself. <laughs> They're actually delicious. Tame. Tame. Uh. Oh, look at her. Wow! Oh! They are displaying their skills, their services. It looks like a dragon fruit or jackfruit. This guy was totally used to advertise their products and services. <laughs> I would say their marketing was a success. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I remember those guys. Mm, they're well funded. <laughs> he I wanted to participate too. <laughs> I'm glad we're able to see results of what Makoto's been building up in this last episode. With the intention of annoying them. <laughs> Mana activated when one's life is in danger. Huh. Oh, two others that were summoned because he's the third disciple, right? I'm assuming the next season is going to be including the others that were summoned. I wonder if he's going to be able to meet family 
from his parents in this world. I doubt it, but I think that would be really interesting. I laugh if his parents were reckless people. What a pleasant floral smell. <clears throat> That's right, Emma was the first he met. Yes, Queen Emma! <clears throat> She's more like, what is it, like a mom? Poems of the heart. Oh dear. Hawk goods. And they have this part. Thank you for watching. Oh, so cute. And that was my reaction to Tsukimichi episode 12 season finale. This was a really good season finale. Why? Because he had a really good battle scene. Oh my goodness. That was good. Oh, Sophia. Mm -hmm. You were a great battle. And that Lancer. Oh, what was his other name? Anyways, I think. He's a dragon. Totally reminds you of Tomoe. And um, I think he reacted to the sword breaking. It's like that was a part of him. And that sword did look like it was made out of like scales, like dragon scales and such. Not too sure, but it's something to analyze, rewatch this episode on. And maybe the other episode where they mentioned. Uh, the dragon slayer chick but besides that oh this episode is really good on making me dislike the goddess more and i think it's very interesting that they call makoto the third disciple kind of weird because i think he was the first to be summoned and then uh the goddess summoned the other two because she wasn't happy with him or were they were all three summoned at the same time i think makoto was summoned first but besides that I think he's being called the third because the other two were known to the humans. And Makoto, because, you know, his presence was uh, known later, he's known as the third. But besides that, totally feel like this is setting us, uh, setting, setting us up for the next season because they told us about the war between the demons and the humans. <laughs> yes, humans with a Y. And then they told us that there's two others that were summoned by the goddess. They showed them to us. And then they showed us like silhouettes of some demons, I believe. Mm-hmm. They're definitely setting us up for a second season. Gosh, I hope we get it. Because it is getting good. Because I really want to see how Makoto goes to the academy and improve his magic use because he's like saying like um i only know this much i don't even know the good foundation of using magic but he's already powerful so it's like bro you went super saiyan on us okay all right when you like strengthen yourself all that mana dude you overpower two people that were intent on killing you i'm just saying but besides that Y'all can tell I like this episode. What did you think about this episode? And what did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. The link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds. We talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to the Kimichi episode 12.
season finale. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you on the next one. Laters!